We are headed over to do a picnic at the park with Gatsby. He's all excited. This is his first outing since he had his surgery done. <laughs> That's your first coconut water. <laughs> I think he likes it. Okay, hold on, Gatsby. He's like all excited for this papaya. You ready? Good. Oh, it's good. I'm scooping it for you. Hey everybody, I would go over everything that has been going on since Gatsby got his surgery. In the summertime, Gatsby went in to UC Davis. He was scheduled for his adrenalectomy where they were going to remove his adrenal gland that they believed had cancer in it. Can anyone pick up a queso and head over? Oh man, I hope I'm ready. <laughs> oh Gatsby, we're going, we're gonna go. You were so excited to go. So when we got to Davis, we had to wait in the waiting room and Gatsby was really stressed out. And it was stressing me out. When it was time to say goodbye, I just started crying so bad. He's just getting his x-rays and CT scan done today and then tomorrow's the surgery. So they'll call me and keep me updated. Oh. Luckily, later that day, they called me and they told me that his CT scans and x-rays looked pretty good. It didn't look like the cancer had spread and it mostly had stayed in his adrenal gland. They were going to try to do the surgery laparoscopically, which means they make little incisions in his body and then use a camera inside and do everything internally. And unfortunately, there were some complications. They had to end up switching to an open approach, which means they had to cut open his stomach. Uh, they did like a 10 centimeter incision. There shouldn't be any long-term side effects, but he would just have a longer time healing. He ended up having to stay in the ICU for a while. It was a really stressful time and, you know, being at home without Gatsby there, it, it really does feel really empty. So after a few more days, they allowed me to drive back up to Davis and pick him up. You ready to go home? Oh my god. Hi Gatsby. Like I'm a master survivor. <laughs> Going, Gatsby. Let's go. You can do it. You're tired, right? You can go to sleep. Oh, look at that smile. Gatsby, you did it. You did it. He's, <laughs> he's so loopy right now, so. Okay, we're gonna head back home. Another two hour drive. He's actually drinking water this time. Last time when I brought him back, he didn't drink for a whole day. So he must be feeling better. I wanna see your stitches, Gatsby. I didn't even see where they sewed you up. Down there, it's all red. Uh, that's where. Wow, that's a lot, huh? Oh wow. Okay. So we got to keep that clean, and you can't exercise for like two weeks. Okay. Are you going on a flight, Gatsby? Is that why you have your neck pillow? <laughs> okay. It's the next day. I just fed Gatsby. He's doing a lot better. Look, he looks like he's awake. Yeah. Are you awake? He looks more alert today. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Gatsby. You don't have to do that. This is where all the IVs were stuck, so they had to shave all that area. And underneath his neck, too. It looks like it hurts. He ended up drinking a lot of water, which meant that he needed to pee like every hour or so. That is one of the side effects of getting too much hormones. They don't know how much of the hormone to give the dog. That process will actually take a few months. Every few weeks, they want me to go into our local vet and get a blood test done and see if his body is adjusting to that. I wheel him out on the cart every time he sees the restroom, which is very often right now. 
buddy number five today. He's so happy. He's like, I appreciate you taking me out so many times. Oh my gosh, look at him. You're awake, Gatsby. He looks so much more aware and alive now. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Gatsby. What a smile. Oh. So the nice thing right now is that Gatsby is healing. I brought him to the vet the other day and they tested his blood and we did the first adjustment of the hormone. He doesn't need to pee as much, which is good. And they checked his stitches, which if you can see, look a lot better. His fur is already growing back. It's right over here. Looks pretty good. It has been two weeks since he had his surgery, so he's finally allowed to play a little bit. <laughs> As you can see, his fur is slowly growing back. It's still shaved quite high here. Okay, so we made it to Gatsby's acupuncture. They said the acupuncture can be really good for uh, his healing. So that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> Not treats. It's treatment. Tickle. Good job. I know. Tickle, tickle. Here we go. Good. He's really happy and enjoyed it. Gatsby, yes, can I have a little bit? You ready? I want to thank the UC Davis team, the surgery team, and the oncology team. They worked together and to make this happen. And Gatsby, you did such a good job. While Gatsby was recovering, I had my birthday. Every year I just do like a little game night. Like a mower? Yeah! Right now I'm shipping out all the orders that we have from our summer merchandise launch. I want to thank you so much everyone. Thank you so much. We have the new sticker, our new microfiber waffle weave kitchen towels that comes in a two pack. We have the new surfing t-shirt, tank top. We also have a reprint of the original t-shirt. And we have the cloth tote bag. <laughs> Most places were not willing to screen print, but I found one that was able to do it. This one is already sold out. More is on the way. If you want to get some of those, make sure to go to corgionfleet.com. I just want to thank you guys again so much for showing so much support for Gatsby and me and being so patient. That's just going to do it also for our vlog for today. We're just going to spend some more time just enjoying the scenery. We'll see you guys in the next video. Gatsby, it's all going to be okay, right? All going to be okay now.